Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to show you how I've made this card using gilding flakes and a stamp from Alina Crafts. This stamp is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful big sunflower stamp. And as you can see, it's a fair size and it fills the front of um, a five by five card base. In fact, you probably would need something slightly bigger. I'm using a six by six card base today. Um, a shop bought one, so it's just under, but as you can see, it really fills the front of a card. So first of all, I've peeled the stamp off and I'm gonna attach it to my acrylic block. This is an A5 acrylic block from All In Create. Now I've got a spatula, I've got some flutter glue, flitter glue, sorry, from Indigo Blue, which is a tacky when dry glue. Then I've got this fat foam, and then I've got a scoochie and uh, I'll explain all of these products as we go through the video. And then I've got my gilding flakes. These are indigo blue gilding flakes and they're called chocolate box. And you'll see why when we start using them. So first of all, you're gonna turn the fat foam into basically an ink pad. So I'm just undoing the nozzle of the flitter glue and I'm just gonna add a small amount on top of the fat foam. You're using the softer side of the fat foam and I'm just gonna use my spatula to smooth that out. And basically all you're doing is turning this into an ink pad. So you don't wanna saturate it with the glue. And the glue is not gonna dry, it's a tacky glue. So you haven't gotta rush this process or worry about anything drying too quickly. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of black cardstock. This is Pink Frog Smooth Black Cardstock. I've cut it down to five and a half inches squared. And we're gonna use that fat foam that's got the flitter glue on, and we're gonna ink up the stamp. Basically, you'd use it like you would an ink pad. So you wanna make sure that you've got a really good coverage. You will be able to see the glue on the stamp uh, because the glue dries clear, but it goes on creamy white. So you will be able to see how that goes on. And all I'm gonna do is just make sure that I've got a really good coverage on the stamp and ink, and, um, ink it up, as it were, with the glue thoroughly. So once I'm happy that I've got a good coverage, I'm just gonna show you now how you can see it on the stamp. You can see all that flitter glue there. Now to stamp that on the black cardstock, this is where you need to be quite quick. So I'm making sure that I'm happy with the position of the stamp, and then I'm gonna press it down in the middle, and I'm gonna use my hand to make sure I've got a really good coverage, and then very quickly peel it back off. If you leave it too long, you will risk tearing the cardstock. So you do need to be quick. Remember, it is a glue that you're using. And then I'm gonna spray my stamp with some water so that I can clean it off later. I don't want that glue um, drying to the stamp. And it is water-based, so you can wash it with soap and water afterwards. So there you go, you can see I've got the stamped image there. A bit like embossing ink, uh, when you heat emboss, you can just about make out the image on the cardstock. Um, but as you can see on that, I have missed a small section near the bottom, but I'll show you how we can fix that later on. So I've got a piece of scrap cardstock. I've brought in my chocolate box gilding flakes, and I'm gonna carefully pick out some of the darker flakes to use as the center of the sunflower. This was how I'd got the variation on the first sunflower that I'd made. And so this is how I'm gonna do it again today. And as you can see, the flakes are a very good size, so it's easy to pick out some of the bigger bits. And all you're gonna do is just attach them to the gluey bits. It will naturally grab to it and just gently add those on to the center. Now, I am using Indigo Blue products in this video, but I know that many other companies do make gilding flakes. It's just, I hadn't used them before. These are the first ones that I've bought and uh, I am really impressed with how they, um, how it's so easy to use them. And I really like the fact that you get a variation of colors. You can of course buy gilding flakes as one color of flake. So I know for example, Indigo Blue do sell just a gold flake in a tub, but I really like this mix. This, this one, as I've mentioned, is called Chocolate Box and you just get a, a variation of the different colors. And as I'm doing now, you can pick out the colors and just use those uh, individually. So here I'm just trying to pick out golder parts of the flakes to use for the actual sunflower petals. So it just gives a really nice effect. It's a different way to use your stamps. And uh, of course, it's another way of just experimenting and playing with what you've got in your stash. The gilding flakes were relatively um, inexpensive 
uh, compared to perhaps buying a foiling machine and foiling products. Um, but again, you could perhaps get the same effect using embossing powders. Um, you know, you could just use a browner colour in the centre and a golder colour on the outside. And perhaps that's something else I'll try in another video. But yeah, all I'm doing now is just making sure that I've got good coverage of the flakes all over the um, tacky glue bits. Any excess flakes, I'm going to tip back into my little box because, of course, we can use these again on another project. So I'm just smoothing it over with my hand. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just want to make sure that there's no gaps and that any bits with the stamped image are covered. So next I'm bringing in the scoochie. Now this is kind of like a piece of abrasive foam and it doesn't damage the cardstock, but it polishes the gilding flakes. So as you can see, as I'm rubbing it over the image, it's removing all the excess gilding flakes from the areas that don't have any glue. And so it slowly reveals the stamped image underneath. And of course, any excess gilding flakes, we can just simply tip back into the box. So I've sped this process up a little bit, but as you can see, the more I use the scoochie, the more of the stamped image gets revealed. And you just keep going over and over the image until you're happy that you've removed all of the excess gilding flakes and that you've got a lovely crisp stamped image. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I obviously didn't quite get enough glue on that area of the stamp. So it's a little bit patchy, but again, we can rectify that when we put the card together at the end, as you'll see. So I'm just going to use my microfiber cloth just to wipe over the cardstock and remove any um, dust from the gilding flakes. And then we've got this beautiful sunflower with a slightly darker center and then all those lovely um, flaky gold and brown and orange tinges to the petals on the outside. I really do love these, this variation that the gilding flakes gives, but of course you could just use one, one color of gilding flake if that's what you prefer. And as you can see on the card that I'd originally made, there was also patchiness on there, but it didn't affect the overall finished card. So all I'm going to do now is mat the um, black card layer onto a piece of patterned paper from the Honey Bee paper pad from Alina Crafts. I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe glue to adhere that down. And I've already cut that piece of cardstock down to uh, five and three quarters squared. And then I'm going to attach that to my card blank. And again, I'm just going to use the same Nouveau Deluxe glue on that. I will link as many products as I can that I've used today in today's video in the description box below so that you can check out the items if you're interested. So I've got this uh, thank you so much sentiment stamp that I've already uh, white heat embossed and I'm just going to add some thin foam tape from the Lena Crafts shop. Um, I have to say of all the foam tape I've tried, this is definitely my favourite. Um, it's easy to take the backing paper off the back. It's a really strong adhesive. It stays in place and it's not like too squishy. So um, it just really holds its shape really nicely. And it's great for making shaker cards. So uh, again, I will link that in the description box below as well. I'm just gonna use my T-ruler now to make sure that my sentiment is straight. I was gonna brave it and stick it down without, but um, I do have a tendency to get them a little bit wonky and the T-ruler has proved really helpful for that. So I've just popped that there. And as you can see, I've used the sentiment over the slightly uh, patchier part of the sunflower. So it's a great way of just covering up little mistakes um, by basically just viewing them as an opportunity to embellish. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here and taking the time to watch this video. Please let me know in the comments box below if you've tried Gilding Flakes or if you'd like to try Gilding Flakes. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care.